my god my god why have you forsaken me and are so far from my cry and from the words of my distress O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. By night as well, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forefathers put their trust in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They trusted in you and were not put to shame. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn, they curl their lips and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord, let him deliver him, let him rescue him if he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me out of the womb and kept me safe upon my mother's breast. I have been entrusted to you ever since I was born. You were my God when I was still in my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many young bulls encircle me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their jaws at me, like a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, all my bones are out of joint. My heart within my breast is melting wax. My mouth is dried out like a pot's hurt. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. And you have laid me in the dust of the grave. Packs of dogs close me in, and gangs of evildoers circle around me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Be not far away, O Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Save me from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, my wretched body from the horns of wild bulls. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. Praise the Lord, you that fear him. Stand in awe of him, O offspring of Israel. All you of Jacob's line give glory. For he does not despise nor abhor the poor in their poverty. Neither does he hide his face from them. But when they cry to him, he hears them. My praise is of him in the great assembly. I will perform my vows in the presence of those who worship him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied, and those who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your heart live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall bow before him.
from Psalm 102. My days pass away like smoke. My heart is stricken and withered like grass. I am a lonely bird on the housetop. My days are like an evening shadow. From the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus has told us from the mountaintop, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. From Psalm 22, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. And you, our ancestors, trusted, they trusted and you delivered them. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. I am poured out like water. My heart is melted within my breast. Come quickly, deliver my soul. <laughs> From the letter to the Hebrews, Christ has offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins. By a single offering, he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. I will put my laws in their hearts, and I'll write them on their minds. I'll remember their sins and their lawless deeds no more. So let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering. Let us consider how to encourage each other to love and good deeds. From Psalm 42 and 44. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for the living God. Why must I walk about mournfully? Why are you cast down, O my soul? Why do you forget our affliction and oppression? We sink down to the dust, our bodies cling to the ground. From the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Thank you. 
Psalm 78. Give ear, O my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. We will tell to the coming of the generation. What Jesus said and what Jesus did. Love everybody. Give generously. Believe courageously. Praise endlessly. Offer forgiveness. Go back and get forgiveness. Celebrate family. Build community. Ask for what you need. Heal strangers. Trust in a higher power. Acknowledge pain. Wake people up. Listen closely. Go where the need is. In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. And tonight in our evening shadow, we remember the single offering, the single sacrifice, the rending of the curtain for faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. Jesus said, Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made your name known to them, and I will make it known, so that the love which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land. Oh, 
not from his griefs away. Teach us, Lord, how we should Calvary's mournful mountain climb, there adoring at his feet, mark the miracle of time, God's own sacrifice complete, it is finished. From the prophet Isaiah, who has believed what we have heard? He had no form or majesty that we should look at him. He was despised and rejected by others, a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity. And as one whom others hide their faces, he was despised and we held him of no account. Surely he has borne our infirmities and suffered our diseases. Yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. From the Gospel of Luke, when they came to the place that is called Golgotha, the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right, one on his left. Then Jesus said, For God, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Remember me when you come into your key.
from the Gospel of Luke. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly I tell you, you will be with me in paradise. From the Gospel of John, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. From the Gospel of Mark, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Elo, elo, lama sabatani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? From the Gospel of John, Jesus says, I am thirsty. They put a sponge full of wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. my Lord. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes Tremble, 
tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? The sun's light failed. Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. With this he breathed his last. We also call out to the Father. In the shadows of our hearts, we light a candle. In our isolation, we come together. In our desperate night, we look to the new day. When you pray, say, Our, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given over into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Solemn Collects for Good Friday. Dear people of God, our Heavenly Father sent His Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved, that all who believe in Him might be delivered from the power of sin and death, and become heirs with Him of everlasting life. We pray, therefore, for people everywhere according to their needs. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, for the Holy Church throughout the world, for its unity in witness and service, for all bishops and other ministers and the people whom they serve, for Elizabeth, Michael, Bill, and Eugene, our bishops, and all the clergy and people of this synod and diocese, for all Christians in this community, that God will confirm the church in faith, increase it in love, and preserve it in peace. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, 
that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all nations and peoples of the earth and for those in authority among them. For the President of the United States, for the Congress and the Supreme Court, for members and representatives of the United Nations, for the leaders of our state and local governments, for those who serve our country at home and abroad, for all who serve the common good, that by God's help they may seek justice and truth and live in peace and concord. Almighty and eternal God, you are the champion of the poor and oppressed. In your goodness, give wisdom to those in authority so that all people may enjoy justice, peace, freedom, and a share in the goodness of your creation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all who suffer and are afflicted in body or in mind, for the hungry and the homeless, the destitute and the oppressed, for the sick, especially those afflicted with the Corbin 19 virus, those people who are caring for them, and those people who live in grief for lost ones, for the wounded and the crippled, for those in loneliness, fear, and anguish, for those who face temptation, doubt, and despair, for the sorrowful and bereaved, for the prisoners and captives and those in mortal danger, that God in mercy will comfort and relieve them and grant them the knowledge of God's love and stir up in us the will and patience to minister to their needs. Almighty and eternal God, you give strength to the weary and new courage to those who have lost heart. Heal the sick, comfort the dying, give safety to travelers, free those unjustly deprived of liberty, and deliver your world from falsehood, hunger, and disease. Hear the prayers of all who call on you in any trouble, that they may have the joy of receiving your help in their need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all who have not received the gospel of Christ, for those who have never heard the word of salvation, for those who have lost their faith, for those hardened by sin or indifference, for the contemptuous and the scornful, for those who are enemies of the cross of Christ and persecutors of his disciples, for those who, in the name of Christ, have persecuted others, that God will open their hearts to the truth and lead them to faith and obedience. Merciful God, creator of all the peoples of the earth and lover of souls, gather into your embrace all those who call out to you under different names. Bring an end to interreligious strife and make us more faithful witnesses of the love made known to us in your Son. Let your gospel be preached with grace and power to those who have not heard it. Turn the hearts of those who resist it and bring home to your fold those who have gone astray. Grant that all may recognize the signs of your love and grace in the world 
and in the lives of Christians and gladly acknowledge you as the one true God. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for God's creation, for the health of the life-giving water and air of creation, for animals in our homes, on farms, in the wild, and in havens of refuge, for forests and crops, seed, and so on, that God will strengthen us to be good stewards of the abundance abundant gifts bestowed upon us. Almighty and eternal God, you are the creator of a magnificent universe. Hold all the worlds in the arms of your care and bring all things to fulfillment in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us commit ourselves to God and pray for the grace of a holy life, that with all who have departed this world and have died in the peace of Christ and those whose faith is known to God alone, we may be accounted worthy to enter into the fullness of the joy of our Lord and receive the crown of life in the day of resurrection. Let us confess our sin against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, and forgive us, that we may delight in your will, and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. O God of unchangeable power and eternal light, look favorably on your whole church that wonderful and sacred mystery, by the effectual working of your providence, carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation. Let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up, and things which have grown old are being made new, and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 